Welcome back to another episode of the Ark Survival Guide. So I've been experimenting with some good ways of harvesting rocks because uh, I have a Dodicarus and I've never tamed one this early. But uh, I'm nowhere near the level that I need to be to make a saddle for him. So I'm having to improvise a little bit. Dodicarus will actually gather by themselves if they're on wander. And uh, so I'm trying to figure out how to get this guy to wander up the rocks and smash them without me actually riding him. And as you can see, this is working really well. I didn't realize this, but apparently Dodicarus are actually faster in the water than they are on land. I never thought they would even be able to swim looking at them, but hey, whatever, you know. This is Ark. <laughs> I mean, scorpions can fly. Whatever. So... What I'm doing here is I'm putting him on follow, and he is on wander. So he's just going to randomly run around whatever direction he feels like. But when I tell him to follow me, that overrides his wandering, and he just starts following me wherever I go. So what I'm doing is I'm getting him to follow me right up to a rock, and then right when he hits the rock, when he's right next to it, I'm going to... Whoa, that's a parasaur. Okay. I'm going to tell him to stop following me right next to it, and as long as he's close enough, then he'll actually just smash that rock with his tail. And this is really effective. I mean, I've already got probably 500 to 1,000 stone just in the last minute or two. So, uh, and this particular spot on this beach is amazing. It's covered in water, which seems to make him go a lot faster. Maybe it's that giant spiked ball on his tail that makes him so fast in the water. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. So, uh, we are just flying through here. I love how he bounces around like a little ping pong ball. This guy is just awesome. He makes me so happy. So, um, and also he's leveled up to 22 already because we've just been smashing rocks like crazy. And that's been uh, getting him lots of levels. I'm putting all of his stats, I mean literally everything, into melee damage because that gives him more stone with every swipe that he does. And it makes it so he can smash boulders in one hit instead of multiple hits. And come on, that guy. And he gets lots of stone. I mean, this is crazy. That's like, what, a thousand stone right there? He's getting overloaded, but what I've been doing is uh, I'm having him carry all the stone. Dodicarus, they're, uh, they actually reduce the weight of the stone that's on them. So if you have a Dodicarus loaded up with stone, he is only actually counting 25% of all of that stone. So instead of like, you know, a thousand stone worth of weight, he's only carrying 250 worth. Now, I'm having my raptor hold the foundations, and I'm basically just crafting foundations using the stone in this guy's inventory, and then I'm gathering all the thatch and wood that's lying around here. And you can see this beach is just great. I haven't seen any predators, and uh, this is actually the beach where we got those supply crates earlier, too. So um, this might actually be an even better starting point than where I started. But, you know, you don't have that amazing plateau to keep you safe. I'll have to, uh, you know, I, I think that uh, giant pillar in the middle might actually be a safe plateau you could build on. So if you're going to start on Ragnarok, keep this in mind. So it's a little bit up from Bike Viking Bay, but uh, you could probably make the journey when you're pretty low level. So, yeah, cool stuff. So I'm going to just keep gathering thatch and wood, and that's going to give me everything but the stone that I need for these stone foundations that I'm building. And I am just saving up tons of materials. I'm making tons of foundations, walls, ceilings, all that good stuff. And then we'll have a separate video where I actually will be building all of this onto the raft. So for now... I'm just going to keep crafting stuff, and I've been leveling up like crazy. He's leveling up like crazy. I mean, you can see it's been like, what, five minutes, and we got a thousand stone. We leveled up. We built like ten stone foundations. I mean, this is going like ten times as fast as it used to go before I got this Dodicarus. So even though we almost lost... <laughs> that was funny. Even though we almost lost everything taming this guy... Oh, and there is some crystal! Yeah! I have not seen a single shred of crystal this whole game. I even explored the whole waterfall near my base, in that cave, 
and uh, didn't see any crystal. But uh, now we've got some, and we can finally make that spyglass I've been wanting. A spyglass will actually let you uh, see what level a dinosaur is before you fight it, and whether it's male or female, which is so helpful because uh, then you don't accidentally fight something that's way too strong to kill. So I'm really excited about that crystal, actually. Now, when you can ride a Dodicarus, your weight actually contributes towards his, uh, his weight. Oh no, he's right on top of me. Get off me, guy. Get off me. I can't move if he's on top of me. So it's actually really effective to learn how to do this because uh, he can carry more stone that way. Hey, come on, get over here. All right, I'm going to set him to stop wandering. And yeah, once he does that, he can just sit still. I think we're good for now, and I'm going to go ahead and craft everything that we need for the next building section. And then uh, next, next episode, we will be building some stuff on our base. We'll expand that and make it look really nice. So tune in next episode.